As the first and only FDA-approved ascorbic acid injection on the market today, Ascor is a breakout drug for the treatment of scurvy that's proven to be safe and effective and is ready to use. To treat patients diagnosed with scurvy, administering a highly bioavailable dose of intravenous vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, quickly and safely is key to restoring optimal health. Oral doses, while helpful in some cases, simply cannot achieve the same high blood levels of intravenous vitamin C that Ascor does. Until now, the only ascorbic acid injections available in the U.S. were compounded drugs. Compounded drugs are not FDA approved. This means that the FDA does not review compounded drugs to evaluate their safety, effectiveness, or quality before they reach patients. This can pose a greater risk over ASCOR, which has been approved by the FDA for its safety, effectiveness, and quality. Thanks to ASCOR, the vitamin C solution from McGuff Pharmaceuticals, healthcare professionals are no longer concerned by these limitations. ASCOR features a strategic combination of benefits designed to target vitamin C deficiency via a more effective and successful ascorbic acid delivery method. Used for the treatment of scurvy, ASCOR vitamin C injection effectively stimulates iron absorption, collagen production, immune support, vascular integrity, influences cellular immunity, has anti-inflammatory properties, as well as other critical functions of this essential healing nutrient. In addition, Ascor is formulated for purity, completely free of genetically modified organisms, dyes, fillers, and preservatives with no traceable levels of corn antigens. Ascor does not contain detectable allergens from amino acids, proteins, polypeptides, or corn. This is one of the many reasons the FDA's Ascor labeling states, contraindications, none, confirming the safety of Ascor. What is a drug contraindication, you might ask? The short answer, a contraindication is a specific situation in which a drug, procedure, or surgery should not be used because it may be harmful to the person. The conclusion here is the FDA designates only ASCOR as safe and effective and meets new drug application standards. All ASCOR products are proudly manufactured by McGuff Pharmaceuticals and are manufactured in the United States in a state-of-the-art FDA-inspected facility that meets or exceeds United States pharmacopoeia requirements for sterile drug injections and meets or exceeds federal good manufacturing practices, GMPs, as well. ASCOR is FDA-approved, which assures every vial is consistent in strength, quality, and purity. Ascor's injectable vitamin C is indicated for the short-term treatment of scurvy in adult and pediatric patients aged five months and older for whom oral administration is not possible, insufficient, or contraindicated. It is not indicated for cases of vitamin C deficiency that are not associated with signs and symptoms of scurvy. Ascor is a prescription drug that must be diluted prior to use and should be administered as a slow intravenous infusion. Ascor is available from McKesson, Cardinal, Amerisource Bergen, and other authorized distributors for hospital markets and direct from McGuff Medical Products for independent practice physicians. ASCOR offers peace of mind for healthcare professionals and their patients. Contact McGuff Company Inc. or McGuff Pharmaceuticals Inc. to learn more about the benefits of ASCOR Ascorbic Acid Injection USP. To order hospital or hospital affiliate McKesson Cardinal Amerisource Bergen product numbers. To order clinic or independent physician practice McGuff Medical Products Ordering and Information. 
mcguffmedical.com. one 854 7220 at 3524 West Lake Center Drive, Santa Ana, California, 92704. For more information from McGuff Pharmaceuticals, Inc., please call 1-800-603-4795 or email pharmaceuticalanswers at mcguff.com. Ascorbic acid has been associated with development of acute or chronic oxalate nephropathy following prolonged use of high doses of ascorbic acid infusion. Patients with renal disease including renal impairment, history of oxalate kidney stones, geriatric patients and pediatric patients less than two years old may be at increased risk.